is the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing on the mistletoe, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. I don't wanna miss another holiday, but I can't stop staring at your face. I should be playing a list, I know I'ma be under the mistletoe. much ladies it's the blossom trio merry christmas ladies merry christmas, christmas. how are we feeling this morning uh well to be honest i have a bad cold oh. we would have never <laughs> been able to tell but yes it's all good my it's sister's got good. me yeah amazing stuff i know you have a, a show that's coming up this festive uh, period sunday about let's it. make it simple on sunday on we're sunday. having the most amazing christmas Blossom amazing, show. Amazing, amazing, amazing. At Odisha Gardens. Odisha Gardens is the biggest, freshest, biggest garden at East Legon Hills. 
please be there. Um, everyone is going to be there. We have lovely sponsors coming up. So many Christmas songs to jingle up to. You know, Blossom is not a normal... We like to twist it up a bit. So if you want to have a, you know, a spice for this Christmas, make sure you are at Odisha Gardens this Sunday. It starts at 3 p.m. and it's still late. So please, I hope to see you. All right, we'll certainly be there. I'm sure you as well will be there to um, soak in the glory. There'll mm -hmm. be fresh air as well. Fresh air. Fresh air. <laughs> fresh music. Fresh everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. There'll season. be a live jollof going on. You know, the song we just did is Ghana jollof. How can we do Ghana jollof without live jollof? There'll be Ghana jollof. Yeah. On the day. On the day. Yes. On yes. Sunday. Chef's By Chef Ori. Yes. yes. So you have yes. to be there. You uh -huh. have to be there. It's Salah really King. That's his name. Sold. Yeah. Sold. Jollof, Great. Fresh jollof. Fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh music. music. Fresh music. Kebab. Some drinks. You know. It's music to my ears. Yeah. Thank you, lady. Thank you so much. We're getting on to our seventh lesson right about now. Standing by for us is Nina Efedi Okorafor with that seventh lesson. Thank you very much. Greetings, everyone. Season's greetings. Our seventh reading is coming from the Gospel of John, chapter 1 verses 1 through to 6. And our sermon is titled, The Word Became Flesh. So here it goes. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, Nothing was made that has not been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Here ends the reading. Thank you very much.
put your hands together for Cedar Syrings. That was a beautiful performance, and it's all celebration inside to be here at TV3. It's our nine lessons and carols. And well, let me also say a big thank you to Nina Efedi Okurafo. She's a member of the Ghana Blind Union and a disability rights activist. She read our lesson earlier, and she used a braille. And of course, we also are big on inclusivity, which is why we needed her here to also read one of the lessons. But now from one human rights activist to the other, this woman has had 30 years and more experience as a politician. She is a lawyer and also has served as a one-time minister for gender, children, and social protection. And now she's going to be reading our next lesson for us. It is Nana Oye Bampo Ado. Thank you so much for joining us. Very much. Merry Christmas to you in advance. Merry Christmas. Right. Afi Shiapa. Afi Kombati. Afi Owe Afi. Afi Aba Neva Amen. Thank well, you. Carry on. Our eighth lesson is from John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. In the beginning was the word, and the word was in God's presence, and the word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, and darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came to witness, to testify to the light, so that through him all men might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And whoever did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by the man's willing it, but by God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of an only son coming from the father, filled with enduring love. John testified to him by proclaiming, this is he of whom I said, the one who comes after me ranks ahead of me, for he was before me. Of his fullness, we have all had a share, love following upon love. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, and thank you so much. Thank you. No, no, you're Thanks. Don't go yet, please. Let's yes. have an interaction quickly yes. before we go. Yes. Christmas is just three days away. Looking back at the year, what has it been like for you? It's been a very eventful year, personally, politically, and also uh, family-wise. It's been great. We've had our challenges, but we've been resilient. It's been a difficult year, um, I'm sure, for many Ghanaians. Um, but we thank God we're here. We're praising God. And TV3, this is amazing. The collection um, of choirs, um, the collection of performers, um, those who have read lessons, has been seamless and it's been very exciting. Thank you so much to the producers and the team, um, um, 3 and also TV3. This we are grateful amazing. for the commendation. Thank but you. for you, one of the major challenges that we have faced as a country yeah. is the fact that we have very few women in leadership positions, in politics, and clear example is what happened just a few days ago when the district level elections yeah. also took place. We've been crying about this. For some reason, we don't seem to have women taking the mantle. What is the problem? Oh, well, this could be a whole lecture. But to say that 
Um, there are many reasons, but key is our political system. And I'm happy that the affirmative action bill that will ensure we have 40 plus minimum women across the public sector, security services, parliament and all, um, has now been uh, submitted to parliament, is going through, I think is going through the consideration stage. So I'm really very happy and uh, I'll urge all the parliamentarians and our speaker of parliament, my former boss, Right Honorable Sumani Bagbin, to treat it with the urgency it deserves and also plead with President Nana Adodan Kwakufuado to assent to this particular bill. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas to NDC. Merry Christmas to every Ghanaian. Merry Christmas to everybody in Adenta constituency. I see. I, I thought you'd say a Merry Christmas to MPP. Don't go yet. No, no, Merry yet. Christmas to MPP. Merry Christmas to CPP. Merry Christmas to all everybody. the other political Movement parties. Movement for change. Movement for change. Ah. Afra Frantor. Ah. Every. Every Everyone. single political party. But you said, well, you served as a minister for gender and social yes. protection. I'm just wondering if you were still minister today for Christmas, what would you have done? For every year, I hosted a mega party for the children of Ghana. We had one in Bole Bamboy, we had one in Brongahafo, we had one in the central region, uh, one at um, one also in Accra at uh, Bukom. The book on okay. In fact, every year I do that. So I'd have had a mega big party, 2,000 children. Well, it's not yes. too late. We're it's hoping late. that we can still get yes. that party, whether yes. or not you're a minister. Yes. But thank you so much. Thank Please you. put your hands together for Nana Oye Bampo. And she read one of our lessons for us. But as much as you're seeing a number of us present the show today, we still have some of our colleagues in the audience. You've seen Giovanni. For some reason, he went on stage to sing. I don't even understand how that happened. But he's not the only one. AJ Sapon is here. Regina Van Helvet. Jacinta Okanse is here as well. Sixers Don Ulo. Well, he's here. He's one of our producers for today. And I think I saw Kelvin Ousuansa earlier, as well as other presenters here at Media General. And so we're acknowledging all of them. Thank you all so much for the work you've done. And of course, teamwork is important. So we're glad that we've been able to have you glued onto our TV sets up until now. We promise to continue to do so. But let's go back to some music. We have some more lessons coming your way. This is the 3FM um, Sunrise and TV3 New Day um, lessons and carols. And it's happening right now at Studio B. Choir Takeover.
ladies and gentlemen, that was a beautiful rendition by the choir. Next, we will have our final lesson to be read by our reigning queen for the most educative beauty pageant that you can ever think about, which also infuses culture and tradition. We call it Ghana's most beautiful. Queen Selom is here for the night lesson. Hello, Selom. Hi, Johnny. Great. Let's hear you. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm taking the ninth lesson, which is taken from John 8, verse 12, the light of the world. Jesus spoke to them once again, I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall ever walk in darkness. No, he shall possess the light of life, the word of God. I mean, uh, Christmas is here. I know that you've been doing a lot of uh, charity work, really, but what does your Christmas plan look like? Christmas plan, it looks um, a bit um, small, mm. but I'm pushing all to January for okay. the New Year. So you're okay, you don't the... want it to be crowded out. Yes, So please. you're moving everything to January. January yes. And I'm sure that you have a lot of children that come to you, uh, Queen Selom. Yes, Queen please, Selom. You, feel like, you feel like a mother already. <laughs> yes, please. Is it not? I wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We'll take one more song from the choir, and then right when they're done, we will have Apostle Abraham Lamte, who will give us the word of exhortation for our night lessons and carol service today. Please stay. <laughs> of the Night Lessons and Carols as a special collaboration between 3FM Sunrise on 92.7 and also TV3 uh, New Day. And you've seen all the faces that you've been watching, the voices that you've been listening to right here. Now we've listened to all the Night Lessons. Next, we will have the Apostle Abraham Lamte deliver for us the word of exhortation. Please put your hands together and welcome Apostle Abraham Lamte. Good morning. How are you? You are drum also. Refusing to grow old. <laughs> that, is the, that is the whole thing. Yeah. So please carry it away. Amen. I thank God for keeping us alive, alive to date. I remember some 40 years past. I think it should be 48. At Chemwese. And it was Christmas. And uh, you know, coming from a strict parent, you don't get the freedom to do such. So those were the days, papa, and those things. So we had the blonyachu that we, they were struggling to recall what it was. And right in there, I realized we were all very hungry. So I ran to my mom's ghetto packed about 20 bow fruit because that was her business and I brought it in there and all the others from better Blonyachu left theirs and came to ours all because we had bow fruit 
As to what happened when I came back home, I don't think I should tell you. But it's a memory I will never, ever forget. Those were the days when it's Christmas, you have to behave well to get your cone paper cap or card cap, your Christmas wristwatch, your Christmas spectacles, Piccadilly Akmono, uh, some in the shape of a hat, some, you know, we had it in many shapes. These days, we celebrate Christmas on our phones. We celebrate Christmas on our laptops. And we are gradually breaking the family bonding that Christmas is all about. Christmas is about love. And I'm taking the next five minutes to let all of us know what love is all about. The reason, the essence is all about love. You can imagine if God were to be in your neighbor, seated next to you, standing next to you, how will you relate to the person? If the person standing next to you, seated next to you, were God. And the Bible tells us that he lives in us. So if God lives in us, stop looking up for God and start looking for God in your neighbor. I don't wear a smile because I don't have challenges. I wear smiles always because I see God in my neighbor and in everything. In 1 Corinthians, the chapter number 13, the essence of Christmas, it talks about love and the other side of love. If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. So then, what is love? In the verse 4, I read it and I panicked because a gentleman came to Jesus trying to be okay. I said, what should I do? And he said, love the Lord your God with this and that and that. He said, I'm already doing that. So what next? Then Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Can we all say that and see if we got it right? Love your neighbor. No, I didn't get you. Love your neighbor. Somebody is trying to hate. So the person is not saying it. Love your neighbor. Please, did we say love your neighbor as your neighbor will love you in return? What did we say? So why do you expect love in return for loving? Somebody sent you. Just love and expect your reward from the one that sent you. Because we do not understand the scripture, we live a life of being hurt, being betrayed, and being offended. Because we expect the love we are giving in return. And that is not what the Bible says. Love your neighbor as yourself. Let's take this Christmas season to understand what love is all about. When you love your neighbor, wait for the one who sent you to love to reward you. Do not wait for the one you've loved to love you in return. Because man will offend you. Man will betray you. Man will hurt you. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 3, that trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. What is the essence of Christmas if we don't have love? John 3, 16 says, this is how God loves the world. And how? He gave his only begotten son. And the book of James tells us that God is love. On this occasion, why do you wait for 25th December before you share rice? Couldn't you have done it 1st January, 20th March? 15th August, so every day will be Christmas to each one we meet. Can we step out there after today, after these festive occasions, to let everybody know that Christ did not only come, especially for the believer, he also came for the unbeliever. And if we will share love, if we will give love, and if we will distribute love, there will be no need worrying about what next. Because he that sent you is faithful to reward you for being obedient. I believe one thing for sure. Where there is love, there is joy. Where there is love, there is smile. Where there is love, there is perfect health. Look at your neighbor. 
if you're watching right now. If you're watching in the comfort of your home, seated with your wife, don't worry, maybe you had an argument last night. Can you patch up? Look at your neighbor and tell the person from January till now, if I offended you, if I did something wrong, please forgive me and let's bring love back where she belongs. Did we do it right? Then I don't see a smile on your faces. Look at another person. Tell the person, Charlie, how walk baby? Can we love each other? For that is the essence of Christmas. Can you give your neighbor a gift of a smile? Come on, do it. He says, love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Verse 8, love never ends. Siomo, ebanagui. Can we bring that love back? The challenge we have is that when we love, we want to be loved in return. That's not what the Bible says. Love your neighbor as yourself. So your neighbor will also love his or her neighbor as themselves. This beautiful morning, I want to encourage all of us. Wear that smile of love. Have that energy of love. Forgive. Share. And give it someone a gift of a smile. And I promise you one thing, that then the essence of Christmas will be made manifest. Let us defeat the spirit of competitiveness. May we stop competing and start complementing. For in a society of competition, everybody will look for someone to break down, someone to bring down, Someone to destroy because we are all looking for who won. But how did you end? It's not about how you dealt with your neighbor, but how you ended. Love is the essence for the occasion. God bless you and let's keep loving. Amen. Apostle, thank you. Let's hear if Apostle, Apostle, don't go. Today you didn't give us one song. Why? You said exaltation. Okay. But the song too can exalt so us. So we can do syncation. Yes, one syncation. I, I came with my preaching voice. I didn't mm. come with the singing one. <laughs> so if you can stretch your hands towards me mm. and with love release some singing voice into me, then I would want everyone here that is... Now Shoko is throwing singing voice. Huh? Voice be released. In, In Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus. Let, Let the saints say amen. Let the saints say amen. Yes, amen. amen. Huh? <laughs> Amen. There is this gas song I love so much. Mm -hmm. Give me a key, I'll look for the padlock. Yehovah Jimmy La. Kemi Jiwala Herelo. Namo Pobe Yimashi. Yehovah I love this part. Boy, fame in comfortable. But Jinny, you are late. Why you are not come on, Kakawa? What play my Tessa? Nihe, what? Jelen fair, I eat you. What by Jinny, who was about Moko Moko Benita Moko 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 Benwenta Moko 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 Benwen. She she. Let 